All right, folks, look, you see the smile on my face? Listen, it is legit. It's that time of the year, you know what I mean, where we get down. Remember, in my last premiere we did last Sunday, we talked about do we want to see our holiday, you know, videos and stuff like that coming up now, and you guys voted yes. So here we go. This is number two, and today we're making a sweet potato casserole with a butter pecan crumble topping. Hey, let's get it. Okay, folks, now look, I know it's a whole lot right here, but check it out. It's the holidays. So listen, all of these ingredients is on my website, and don't forget, they're printable. That's smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's w i t a b.com. All right, so look, this is what we're gonna do. Obviously, I got my Dutch oven here, because listen, we gotta get these sweet potatoes nice and soft, right? So we're gonna have to go ahead and peel these, but these are the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a spatula, you know what I mean? We're gonna need some type of uh, masher, whatever that is for you guys. I use a whisk, you know what I mean? We're gonna need a knife, and obviously, we got to have a stove, right? So with that being said, first thing I'm going to do is let me clear this away. Let me get my bag. Let me get it set up. And what I want to do is I want to peel all of my sweet potatoes. All right, folks. So look, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. Now, if it looks like it's a little bit of a different color, that's because I just rewashed them. You know what I mean? Just making sure that I got all the dirt off of them. Some people say it don't make a difference because I'm getting ready to peel them anyway. So you guys use whichever type of peeler style that you have, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel these. And I'm not going to bore you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and knock these off, right? When I'm done with this, I'm going to show you, the, you know, our next step. All right, so look, I didn't want to bore you guys, like I said, you know what I mean? So we went ahead and cut all of these down. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do over here, right? Now you guys want to have like some type of pot. Now you can do this two ways. We can go ahead and turn this oven on. It's still a little warm right now, you know what I mean? So I can elect, I'm electing not to use my oven. I'm gonna go ahead and just boil them. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna just cut these down into like, try to keep them in similar chunks. You know what I mean? This one right here will be, you know, these end pieces will be a little tricky. So that might be a little small, but I'm gonna just add this over here like that. Just cut them all so that that way when we boil them, we treat them just like they potatoes, right? So this, remember I told you it's a tricky end. You know what I mean? So just try to keep that as big as you can. You know what I mean? Uh, and just cut these down like this. Again, reason being, we want these all to be ready at the same time. All right, so as you guys can see, I just put it all right here. Now I'm just gonna run over here to the sink. I'm gonna fill this up. I just wanna boil, you know, get my water over just the top of them, that's all. Once that's done, I put them on there, put them on high. You know what I mean? Make sure it don't boil over. Once it starts to boil, I set it to like a simmer, and then we do get them. We want these to be fork tender. Now, after you get your, you know, your potatoes nice and soft, right? I got another fresh one right here. I just want to show you. I've already drained the water. But when I say I want them to be toothpick or fork, you know, tender, you want them like this. You see this right here? That right there, just a little resistance to it. That had a little, but the weight of it. All of these are ready to go. You want them as soft as possible, right? Now, I'm going to take these and I'm going to put these in a bowl by themselves, you know? Now, right here is about the time that I want to go ahead and preheat my oven, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit bake. We're going to do 350, and then we're going to go ahead and start it. Now, while that's preheating, this is going to be the dish I'm going to be putting this in. Look at this. This is a nice little dish. I bought this one right here. If you guys can see, I got it from Ikea. I just like these decorative dishes, you know what I'm saying, uh, just to put these out, you know, for the holiday, right? So I'm going to take this. I'm going to grab my nonstick spray. And what we're going to do is we're just going to spray this right now. I like to spray it over my sink because you're going to get a little overspray. Keep your counter from being so greasy, you know? That's it right there. So I set that off to the side. Now, what I did was, you saw me put these in a bowl. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, especially for the people that this will be their first time making any of the holiday uh, dishes, right? So look, if you notice, I got my yam, I mean, I got my sweet potatoes here and I put everything that I'm gonna need right here next to me. And then what's left right here is just gonna be the topping. You try to make it as easy as possible, right? So with that being said, I'm getting ready to add my eggs. Cause this from here on out will be just a dump and go. Once you have all your ingredients out, so I'll put all of this in the inside. This is nice and ready. This is at room temp. And then we're getting ready to go ahead and use a hand mixer. So with that being said, notice I only put in half because I like to do it that way. You know what I mean? I like to just get it all mixed up. I don't want everything splashing. And then we got our, our butter. Then you take your hand mixer, and then you just want to go ahead and 
you know, mix this and you want a smooth consistency. So what I'm doing now is just breaking the chunks down, right? And then we'll work from there. All right, so then when you're done, you'll come up with a smooth product like this, right? So the key is making sure you boil it and you get it nice and soft. But you see this right here? Don't forget, we finna put a topping on there. I tasted this right now the way it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This right here, I'll tell you, it's gonna be fire. Now, let me go ahead and clean this up. You wanna go ahead, I got a little splatter, you know what I mean, going all over. So let me clean this up, set this up, you know, so we can go ahead and put this in here. All right, so the rest right now is like really like what would I say? Just self-explanatory. Now, if you're using a certain size disc, if it's not a 13 by 9, make sure you save yourself enough room so that you can get yourself some, uh, you know, make room for your type, your topping. All right? But you see this right here? Mm. Just a few minutes ago, my oven told me it's ready to go. I think it'll take a little bit more. But you know what? I got some little ramekins. So if you guys use something small like this, a little bit smaller than the 13 by 9, right? I'm going to put some of this, the rest of this filling inside of a ramekin and dress it up and make individuals. Then when you're done, you know, you'll look something like this. Some of you guys got them great skills where you can get down here and make this like super smooth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this off to the side. Now, the only ingredients you guys are seeing left, that's all for my topping, right? So I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter. Let me just drop this in here like this, just make it much easier. You know what I mean? And then we'll just finish this up, put that on top, and then get it in the oven. All right, so after you melt your, you know, your butter, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and add this here. Then you only got four more ingredients. You know we're going to add the pecans, right? So I'll set these here. But right now I'm just going to add my brown sugar, a little bit of my flour. Well, actually, I'm going to add all of my flour, right? And then my last ingredient, dry ingredient anyway. Now I'm gonna move this around just to get everything kind of like coated. Just like you see. See how it gets nice and thick? This is gonna be your topping, right? So once I have it incorporated and I, I don't see any flour in the inside of this right here, then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding, you know, my pecans. Now I want you guys to notice, I got all of them in there, right? I measured them out. So once I have my right weight, notice I'm in here with my hand, just making sure everything is nice and coated and you got a crumble consistency along with your pecans. Now, I'm getting ready to bring back my dish. We'll set that there. And what we want to do is we just want to put this right over the top. You guys can see just by looking at this and the color from that, you can see the consistency. You can see even the dish, the how elegant this looks and how it says, you know, holiday. All right, so once you got it top, like you see it right here, I'm gonna stick this in the oven. We already preheated. We're gonna set a timer for 45 minutes. So usually when I tell you guys, you know, set a timer for 45 minutes, I'm gonna say set it for 40 minutes and let's take a look at it, All right? So we just wanna bake that topping on there and get it going. If you guys can see that, look how good that looks. Now, when you look at it, look at the presentation. You know what I mean? This is something that you can put right on your holiday table and just, you know what I mean? Along with like the dressing, you got the colors of the greens, all of that. Once you put it out on them, you know, your, you know, your serving dishes, man, just look at this. And not to mention that this is right here. So when you're doing the savory, now you got the sweet folks. You know what? I'm not finna over talk and I'm finna get right in here and I'm finna give me a little bit. You know what I mean? And uh, hopefully I don't be starting to crave no, no turkey and no dressing. Cheers, y'all. This is it, folks. I just want to say happy holidays. I know I'm early, you know what I mean? But to be honest with you, something like this, though, can be made any time of the year. 
You know what I mean? But especially when it comes down to that Thanksgiving, you know what I mean, and that Christmas. Now, I want you guys to tell me what could you do or what would you add, you know, to make this a, like a little bit, you know, make it more of a better dish. You guys let me know. It might be something I add and I make a video also. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm finna sit down and take a break, folks, and I'm out. Peace. Thank you.